welcome to another Jacks and Jazz! Ay! Cryptocurrency and investments kasi ito yung mga requested. So, yeah! we're going to talk about it. It might be a very long vlog. So, Pero it's a vlog that you can just listen, listen to, to in the background. Correct. So, if you like this kind of format, sabihan nyo kami para we know how to do it. Yes. a lot of people are requesting na mag-investment vlogs. So, ang maganda na ako is, syempre, nakatingin ako sa road guys, ito yung focus, si Jazz yung sasagot. I have questions in my mind kasi in the family, si Jazz lang yung nag-crypto. Um, I, I, I started parang re- very recently, pero si Jazz kasi ever since matagal na, nag-crypto talaga siya. I didn't go to crypto because ano lang talaga siya? It's really not because I don't, I'm wala lang. I'm not aware of it or I don't want to learn it. So, mm. it's more of kasalanan ko naman. More tama na. Dami kong iniisip. Tapos iisip pa ako ng crypto. Parang wag na lang. Mm. So, that's why I didn't go with crypto. Mm. So, the first thing that I have, just is question number one is how did you start crypto or where did you get to learn crypto? Parang mm. paano? Diba? So, crypto, like, I think any investment either may kilala ka na to, who's telling you about investment opportunities like le, let's face it Philippi- the Philippines is an investment illiterate country I believe that because um, first it's really hard before ha, back then ha I think before right now yeah, yeah. Naman, I think it's not illiterate it's, right now it's better it's much better ah, kasi so but galing na before, mga bata now no, compared but, to the older generation yeah but, which is my generation because we grew up looking up to them and they don't really talk about it. No one really um, pushes you to start it, especially at a very young age, which is so important for you to, for you to start early, diba? Right? So, um, back in 2016? Why Because Bitcoin has been around way longer than that. Oh, 2016 is already late. I was already late in the game, kumbaga. It, um, when it was 2016, um, and 2007 year around that time, nagkaroon ng price hike, I guess you could say that, with how much a Bitcoin costs. So, um, I think the highest that I've seen it at that point before was around 1.8 million. And back then, um, I was, I was thinking about investing like quarter million, um, but I didn't have that much money. So I was only able to invest like uh, X amount. maybe uh, I'll say it. I'll say it like fifty thousand, then on right, and that 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 for me was a lot already. Because you're basically putting money into something that really no one really talks about so much, or it wasn't accepted. The apps back then was just coins and Abra. Abra, um, they're both local, by the way, um, but. The customer service also wasn't that fantastic. No one really talks about it. So back then, when I invested that money, uh, I just learned about cryptocurrency online. YouTubers, lahat ng YouTubers pinanot ko, lahat ng mga um, blogs I read, I follow Instagrammers that does or deals with bitcoins. And then ngayon lang recently sa Telegram, there are people who post daily vlogs on Telegram. They send messages to you like their prediction, price predictions, stuff like that. Um, but back then in 2017, uh, really not a lot of people talked about it. And I promised myself but before if it, I thought that 100,000 per Bitcoin was so expensive. No, 100,000 pesos per Bitcoin was so expensive. I didn't have the money to invest. Uh, and I couldn't buy. And I was like, ah, alam ko, kapag promise, kapag 80,000 na siya, bibili ako ng isa. Ang itim, no? Ang bato, may tulay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, so, uh, basically, answer your um, question, it's really online learning, online um, discovery about Bitcoin. And if me investing in it, it, re- it really was like searching for apps and uh, sites that is compatible to the Philippine location because some other sites are might have been just close to American locations uh, it might be trickier to get certain coins because you have to transfer this transfer that and then you lose money along the way so, so it was a little bit tricky last before but I was glad that I started back in 2017 because right now the price of uh, Bitcoin is around 2 
playing around 2.6 million for Bitcoin. And dati akala ko, and when I bought that time, the price of Bitcoin, one Bitcoin uh -oh. was around 250,000. Pesos? Yes. Baka ini, invest ka na ng 250 pesos. I didn't have money! Kasi at the end of the day, when you're investing in something, uh, I wanted to invest money that I can lose and be like, it's okay. okay. It's fine. I'm Totoo. still alive. Totoo. Diba? So, I guess I'm risky, but uh, I guess my term is I'm a moderately aggressive or risky uh, investor. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So you you also mentioned a pack more in about that. Let's say how much did you start? Yeah. So it was at around that much. So diba? yeah. So I started around. I started putting in small lang. Like okay. diba? if I get a salary uh, of let's say fifteen thousand. I if I didn't spend money that month instead of buying clothes, I spent five thousand to invest in Bitcoin. Right. Yeah, five thousand. Tapos, uh, kung instead of buying clothes, instead of eating out, you invest. I just invested it talang. Bigit matatapos invest. Tapos parang sorry guys, yung maklabas today. In fairness, I think. Oh, and then um, but there are times na kapag mahal yung price or for me I felt like medyo mahal. Uh, hindi ko na ako mag-invest, mag-hold off muna ako. But I do regret not investing every month because if I did start investing every month back in 2016 pa lang, uh -oh. sobrang ganda ng returns ko. Feeling ko Mas yun. maganda pa sobrang. But then, again, that, again, it really depends on your current situation, okay. how you feel and how much you know about the product because back then, like, I, don't, I didn't really know that much. I didn't really know if it will hit off. I don't know if the app will one day be gone. Get small. Because it's not a regular thing. Not a lot of people join it. Not a lot of, a lot of people talk about it. So I was afraid, okay, if I can lose if I lose this money because one day this app will be gone, am okay, I okay yeah. with it? And I'm like, okay. So good okay. on. Yeah. So now, Shepard, you were talking about how much you started, how you get to know about it. So during that time, Ano yung platform that you use or what app did you use? Because yeah. right now I know that there's a lot. So what was your experience? So, and then after yeah. you, I'll share mine. Because basically what I prefer. Yeah. Diba, ganun naman talaga uh -huh. siya, kung saan ka mas comfortable. Yes. So back then, the only app that you could use, or parang the only app that was kind of compatible slash convenient, was Coins and Abra. Coins and Abra, Coins and Abra. Dun lang talaga. Um, but I enjoyed points a little bit more because I always test the that test the app by um, contacting the customer service because I wanted to be secure in a sense that if something goes wrong with my app if I can't log in or somebody hacks me or I don't know something happens I want to be able to connect with the customer service right away and coins was the one that was more immediate in terms of replies. So I'm always about customer service, especially with apps and dealing with my money and banking and stuff like that. So I stuck with coins. But right now, Abra is also a good choice because you actually get interest with Abra. Um, I haven't checked back yet, but last year it was around 4% of whatever you have in your Bitcoin and your Ethereum. They'll grow okay. the interest. So that's a fantastic choice for people who are starting out. I do recommend Abra as well. But I do love the interface of coins and they also added new coins you can buy. So in... Um, Abra's Abra is limited. Eh. You can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum. I think you can buy um, Ripple XRP. That means it's an XRP. You can buy Ripple. You can buy, um, uh, but not like alternative coins and stuff. But for coins, you can buy Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, NFC, TNC. You can buy about I think there's about six or seven now. Versus before it was like four now. So they're developing it, yeah. Um, and yeah, so those are the two apps. But then that's when I started uh, Bitcoin back back in the day. Back in the day. But right now, I think ever since the the spike it had during the pandemic, after the big crash, a lot of people are now very, very, very interested in Bitcoins. So and and, and cryptocurrency Crypto. in general. So um, when that happened, um, Binance um, was a little bit more popular now. So there was Binance, there's eToro. eToro, what's great is for people who really don't want to look at the graphs, they just want to invest. And you can actually copy portfolios where you can just copy someone who's performing really well in their portfolio, copy in whatever the heck they invested in as well. 
and you can gain your their profits as well because you're copying the portfolio and this hap- you can do this for both cryptocurrency and the stock market that's for ah, eToro si yes stock. my stock but for Binance it's really Crypto. strictly cryptocurrency and for Binance they do have the best rates um, however you it's kind of tricky also to buy in Binance I think if you open the app you try to figure out how to buy something. You're gonna be like, what the heck? Where am I going? What is the best rate? <laughs> ako naman, based on experience, ako ay guys. So ako ay started with Binance. So I start, I bought na yung Binance ko. And then, contrary to what Jazz said, for me, madalit lang siya. Hindi naman ako bobo kasi. So, ang sama naman. You know, no, it's, it's I mean, kind of, it's, it's super bobo proof. No, you just have to I buy. No, I think before, like on the credit card no, logo. before, it was much trickier. And especially if you wanna buy alt points, because you have to uh, convert it to USDT and then you buy the altcoins. Oh, uh, whatever. Because, yeah. diba, hindi mo marunong yung mga altcoins. So, ang ginawa ko, basta, sinabi, ko, sinabi lang ni Jazz ko, ano siya. And then, sinabi ko lang, okay, go. Ito yung gusto ko. So, afterwards, I just bought that one. Nala. So, so ako, that's your experience with Binance. So, what that's else? why right now, I use Binance. Okay. And kasi, unlike si Jazz, she likes yung mga, you know, parang, is it cash? Is it blah, blah, blah? I don't. I like it kasi na, I like mine's credit card. That's why I like Binance more. Because I wanna pay everything via credit card. Ah. Ayoko yung ayoko talaga yung hindi credit card. As in, I I I just don't like debit putting it in ganyan ganyan. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, some yeah. people like a lot of mga youth na magagaling right now. They want it that way. Ako ayoko. I don't. No, because I, I want wanna get the card. points. That's why I buy the yes, credit card because I want, I want the, the points. points. Exactly. And my and usually if I buy, it's like twenty five thousand, thirty thousand. So I want, I want those points. points. And, yeah. And guys, you know me. I talk about credit card. I know which credit card to use to get the best forex. It might be higher. Than, which is BPI? Bank. No, BPI. which is now East West Bank. Oh. Contrary to people's belief, East West Bank has the one of the best. Guys, platinum credit cards oh. ng East West Bank, not everything. Yung mga low tier ng East West Bank, sobrang payat ng rate. Pero if you're using it, na maganda yung rate mo, guys, my gosh, panalo ka dito. So, that's why I'm using Binance. Si Jazz, she still, I think, use coins. Because most of my Bitcoin is there. Nasa coins. Okay. And, I, and if I transfer it, there's like gas fees and all of that stuff. So I'm like, ah, it's okay. I'll just have it in many platforms just in case if one platform Correct. crashes, okay. I still have that. So so my investments are kind of like scattered all around these Which different right. apps. Which is yeah. the way it should be, the bar. Yeah. And I actually have, I do recommend an app. This is called Bitscreener. B-I-T-C-S-C-R-E-E-N-E-R. So Bitscreener is a fantastic app to show... Um, uh, how much percent your investment per lagay mo grows. Ay, so you can see how much you've already earned, you can see how much you've lost and stuff like that. And it's so, uh, it's very, very seamless app. So I do I recommend if you have cryptocurrencies, down uh, download BitScreener as well. Because apart from that, um, per coin, whether it's altcoin or whether it's a major coin that you have, um, there's also a link to news, so current news talking about the coins because you really need that. And there's also a Reddit tab where you can check out what people in Reddit is talking about because most of these like crypto, you know, these big crypto um, increases and, and, and all, sometimes it happens in Reddit. You have to follow Reddit and then um, they'll talk about how they feel like this is the next coin that will hit like oh, that big, big, that. big percentage. So, BitScreener, I, I really love that app. So, get that as well. Okay, so right now, pause lang tayo because we have to get uh, something. Uh, okay, continuing on. What's your next question? Okay, my next question after that is, Shepard, we already started kasi with how you started off and then Medjo Jazz also dabbled on how much he started. So, actually, it doesn't have to be big, di ba? Mm-mm. Basta may minimum yun, na meet mo siya, you can just start. It doesn't necessarily mean na parang... And di ba, I just want to break that notion na, you know, investment is only for the rich. Yeah. Di ba, Isipin parang, mo, yung fa- let's say, naglagay ka ng 5,000 back when eh, the rate eh, was... Eh, baka naman gusto mo suotin yung mas mo ng properly. Are you a nasa Karen? Mo, tayo sa nasa, ba- eh. nasa baba mo, Karen. Are you Nay, a Karen? Nay, nasa Karen na tayo eh. Pero, eh, di tayo yung ko nang maayos. Hindi ko nasa suot. Oo, oh, oh, are you a Karen? Anyway, pag-isipan mo like, 
yung 5,000 mo na you put back, back when the there. raid was uh, 200,000 in 2017. Oh, di nag time 7 or 8? No? Yeah, let's say na nag 30,000. Oh. Ganyan na siya. And that was your 5,000 na hindi mo pinag-isipan lang na lalagay Kaya mo nga, lang. In my previous vlog also, I was talking about bank accounts. Yun yung sinasabi ko rin na bank accounts is not for the rich. Checking Actually, accounts? Actually. Yung parang some... Some people kasi would have that notion na, oh my gosh, baka pang mayaman lang siya. No, De. it should be for all. It's really for all. Don't A be afraid, diba? Actually, baka nga, secret yan on why people become rich as well is because it's not just about uh, how much you save. Yes, it is important to save. But you need to invest. But also, it's important to know how you make your money work for you because you've already worked hard to get the money. Now, it's for your, it's, it's your turn to reward yourself by investing it some, in something. Then your money will work for you. Yan yung the best talaga. Yan talaga. So, um, so your question was so my, no, my question now is what are let's say your top three tips for somebody who wants to start mm. parang ano yung tips mo for them and di ba parang kasi I always end my vlog with what are the three things three things that you have to remember parang ganun siya so wow this is off the, off the fly but I think the first very 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 important thing that you should know especially when you're dealing with cryptocurrency is you have to understand what you're investing in right don't give into the hype na parang uh, your friend said oh bigyan mo ako ng money ako na bahala mag invest sa'yo na parang hindi mo naman alam what you're really investing in so know the technology behind it understand if it's something you really believe in or it's something that you feel like will go away in a few years and you just believe in it now or it's something that you completely don't believe in and you prefer to just invest in something more traditional like stocks right so you really have to understand no one is forcing you to go ahead and try it out because again andun yung risk talaga malaki talaga yung risk and um there's a lot of news out there that say oh this country now bans it india at one point wanted to ban it china at one point is trying to ban it and stuff like that so it's really tricky right so know what you are investing in that's number one pinaka important for me um number two and and we're just strictly talking about cryptocurrency yeah crypto right? lang talaga siya. yeah Kasi three tips mo. So what's your second uh -oh. tip? I think number two is yung na-mention ko na slightly nung sa una but I think it's more of kasi crypto is really medyo hyped up na ngayon. Uh -huh. So um, a lot of us um, invest emotionally uh, with cryptocurrency or invest according to the hype. Bigla, pinapag-usapan Dogecoin. Boom! Invest. Tapos boom! Nawala na naman yung pera mo. Tapos bigla, um, lipat, nilipat ka ganon. So, because of these hype type of um, news circulating around social media, I think you get to invest in the wrong things. And um, because it's hype, sometimes there's a lot of scammers out there um, that would tell you, okay, ako na bahala sa pera mo, ako na mag-invest sa'yo, ako na bahala kasi I know this, give it to me, and then... Um, what do you want? I wait, pause. Continuing on, before we get my iced coffee so I can go like this. <laughs> um, uh, because of the hype nga, so maraming tao na alam ko na nasa scam. Kasi maraming tao sa Facebook bigla magsasabi, oh ako na, give me 20,000, give me 30,000. Eh, Why do you know No, but it? that's the thing, parang usually they're at, you know, hype groups na, na crypto, stuff like that. Ah, so, so nauuto? Oo, oh, oh, nauuto ang tao. I've heard so many unfortunate stories of people, even giving it to people they trust, ha? Kilala nila, like 30,000, 20,000. And they, and this, this money, ha, yung 20, 30,000, is something that they really saved up for a long time, or yun na yung, yun yung, yung kailangan nila for the month. So now they're in big trouble because, um, nawala na yung. Ano alam to, yung kinakwento sa akin, ng you know. followers ko. Kasi they're like, I'm so scared of crypto because this was my experience. Ay, yung yung experience niya. Yeah, and, and like, parang, kuya niya nagbigay tapos ngayon naghihingi siya ng money sa kanya kasi wala na siyang pabayad ng rent parang ganon so please 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 don't give in to the hype make sure you you follow step one understand where are the proper ways to uh, actually buy crypto sino yung uh, 
nakakatiwala na apps or nakakatiwala na tao to um, discuss, to learn more about cryptocurrency. Wag po tayo sa scammers because there's a lot out there and they will really take advantage of you even at this situation we are especially in right now. now. Yes. Espe oh my especially God, especially now. Especially now. So that's my number two. Like, I, I hear kasi a lot of people are getting scammed and I think that's the reason why. Wait, I'm gonna pay. Thanks, dear. Ano yung Bye. sa akin? Ito, Ito yung car caramel. Ako here because it's near your uh it's near oven. Okay. It's near my yes. oven. Yes, caramel macchiato. Pero, Ice coffee oh, break. Oh. Pag siya sundo ko si Jazz. Ice coffee ice, ice, ASMR break. Okay. Girls with ice coffee. Okay, tapos. Mm. Mm. I haven't so had a caramel macchiato So, whether the while. second one is it, whether the third one. Mm. Guys, by the way, I don't usually go to Starbucks. I rarely Same. go I to rarely. Starbucks. I love Nijazian. I'm so kuripot. I would buy. I would make my own and just buy. I would make oh, oh. We're so kuripot talaga. But there sometimes kasi marami ako GCs. I have a bag of GCs. For me, with my experience, is that it's the same as investing in. In, for me, ah, for oh. me, ah, in stocks, investing in G Invest. I love because G Invest. Eh. So it's the same. Um, the tactics, the principles, the habits are kind of the same. Okay. So uh, whether it's investing every month, not really being emotional about the price, and also not putting all your eggs in one basket. So Ay. hindi ka lang bibili ng Bitcoin, dun ka lang matitiwala sa Bitcoin. Sa Ethereum, dun ka lang matitiwala. Never ka mag-try ng, ng ibang coins. But if if altcoins is not your thing, it's okay. But the major coins, when we're talking about Bitcoin, Sorry, Bitcoin Cash. Sorry, what is altcoin ba? Altcoins are uh, Dogecoin. Yung mga hindi ah, pa. Ah, masikat. Yeah, hindi masikat. Okay. You wanna try it But out. But they have that in, ano, in Binance. Kasi nakikita ko siya. Yes, eh. yes. Once, so usually once a coin enters or is available at Binance, it's kind of regular na. Like it's like a, um, it's not a coin Mainstream. or not a shit coin. There we go. Uh, forgive my language, but that's what they call it. Eh. Your shit coins. So your shit coins, kasi you you have to buy it from apps like Pancake Swap. So what you do is like you have to buy Ethereum first, and from that Ethereum, I have to go to Pancake Swap to buy Shiba Inu coins. I wanna buy Dogecoin back when it wasn't available by in Binance. So does stuff like mean that? That you know us some people you should not buy altcoins or it's this is okay. this, this is my tip for you to try it out try it out see if it's for you and if it's not for you don't invest in it or if you never want to plan to invest in sh coins then don't they say other people like i have friends who love sh coins because sh coins made them big 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 returns but your risk is also huge so imagine when 30,000 niya ginawa niya 400,000 pesos oh. because he was able to invest in shit coins but also don't think of it ay nako you earn na 400,000 sure, because there's this thing called gas fees and when you use pancake swap you know these other um ways to buy coins that aren't available in the mass market yet your gas fees are so high like to the how point high? that you probably going to spend about 150,000 for gas fees, yes, for gas fees. So your take home is about 250, 300. Still, may kita ka pa it's naman, still pero... but it's really high. I mean, that, that's what you, you do, eh? You can't, we can't buy it normally in the states because and and that's how these um sites earn money as well. So it uh... really is about what you are willing to do, what you're willing to risk. Um, but I think the same principle goes along with investing in cryptocurrency as is with the stock market nothing is for sure the stock market can go up and down as well bitcoin can go up and down as well i personally believe that bitcoin is here to stay i don't think it will completely mm. be gone cryptocurrency will completely be gone i think it's really sort of ingrained in society already and me as a person ang ko, no? but i feel like i can trend forecast 
uh, whether it's with... Ganun naman. For me, eh, ah. I-message mo ko para bibili ako si Binance. I mean, I mean, that's why I started in 2016 with Bitcoin. Because I already believed back then, after reviewing, you know, all these YouTube videos, after uh -oh. learning about the tech, I, I, I believed in it. Because I was like, yeah, as a person, as a consumer, I would totally love to have no middleman um, earning from me wanting to exchange my, my Tama, money, naman. my rates. And Tama, if in the future we can have just one centralized you know, currency or a very, very secure online transaction, I completely believe in it. So I guess ako, um, back then, since I super believed in it, I think that it can be the norm. I invested in it. Oh. But if you don't believe in it, if you don't Why? think that's going to happen and you have your own reasons, okay lang. So that, I mean, it really is depending. So those are, that's my third thing. Yung parang, it's the same as investing in like stocks. It's investing in, in, um, bonds. It's investing in these mutual funds and stuff. Like, there's a risk that you always, you know, lose your, you can lose everything. But there's also a risk to get high rewards and also the same habits apply whether you want to invest every month. Uh, you are patient na after three years, makukuha yung profits mo. After five years, makukuha profits mo. That's better. Because I think it's so much harder for you to be a day trader when it comes to cryptocurrency because the market swings so erratically and sometimes without even any particular reason. I think that's why some traditional stock investors cannot get really into the groove of cryptocurrency because they don't see what are the factors that can change the price. Uh, so that is one of the reasons why. And some news, nga, and this is con nga sa cryptocurrency. Ah. Some news are saying that they're whales. So when we talk about whales, um, these are people who invest a lot already in the cryptocurrency. They have a lot of say in the market to the point that they can take out all their money and. Is it like what ano, Elon Musk? Did? Yes, yes. So they're saying that Elon Musk is a Dogecoin whale, a BTC whale. Uh, na hindi lang yasin na We don't know. So there are people out there that can really be the ones moving the market in cryptocurrency. But even if that is a con, I would also tell you that I believe that even in the traditional stock market, there are people like that. Mandaraya talaga. So, to me, if those cases are the same in both traditional and cryptocurrency-like investments, it's the same stuff. So, I wouldn't say na crypto is a lie or, you know, it's 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 all fake. When what happened during the stock market, the right? there was a, the GameStop. Did you, did you hear about that? Uh, yeah. Yung GameStop. That's essentially the same thing. They want to, um, the Redditors wanted to be able to teach these Wall Street guys a lesson. Um, and they were able to do that so, so well. So, parang, yeah. There's always a way to die yes, those days. I think yeah. that's really yun. There will always be a way to, if you really want to cheat the market, you really want to have a May, at may taon talagang na yung gusto talaga oh. nila. Oh, oh. So, for players like us, we're not really big players. Um, just be careful. Um, my, I guess my last words, I guess, ni naman tip, is just always be careful. Always know what you're investing in. And um, uh, know what you're investing in. And um, do it regularly. Uh, know yourself as well kung gaano ka risky ka as a person and know what you can and cannot do, can and cannot afford. I feel like that's the safest Totoo. investment advice. And I think also know that investment doesn't only mean money. Investment in knowledge, investment in experience is also part of it all. Wait lang. At dadaan tayo ng tulay. No, Ay, ito yung tulay kanina eh. Ito nga, yan yan. Ito ba yung tulay kanina? Ito nga, yan nga, yan yung tulay kanina. Paano ako dumaan dito? Dito ba ako dumaan kanina? Ako oh, dito ako dumaan kanina. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ang tagal ko na hindi nagda-drive. So guys, I think yun naman, I think yun yung parang, it's, it, it won't be a short vlog. I'm definitely sure. Kasi ang dami nating sirabi. And I recommend, kung ayaw nyo na siya panoorin, kasi yun nga lang, naka-static yung video namin, pwede mo siya gawing para podcast. Actually, na lang yeah. siya. We basically were able to cover all ground. Mm -hmm. I really started the Binance because I I was trying out a credit card. The East-West Bank nga. Ah, 
Ah. Because I really wanted to see the rape. Kasi nga, I was talking about mm. rapes. Mm, 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 mm. Exacto, Jazz was telling me, bumili ka nito, bumili ka nito. So, I ko, always okay. tell him, ma'am, super nakaka- nakakainis ka. I mean, I message you to buy, you should eh, buy. Yun nga, eh, mali eh. <laughs> It has to be fast. He yep. regrets it na. I super regret it. Kasi nga, my problem was, wala akong credit card katabi ko noon. So, uh-uh. ayaw kong bumaba. Yes. Eh, medyo stupid din naman ako. Times I, I just na. remember that Binance already has my credit card inside. Mm. Pero kasi na-save niya yung BDO credit card ko. I, I needed to use my East, East West. West. Kasi East West Bank, maganda talaga yung Forex rate niya. Yes, yes, so, yes, that's yes, why. Yes. Okay. So, technically, I would have saved more. But if you guys want, you can use your GCash. So far, are you happy with your journey in cryptocurrency? Or you okay. feel like wala ka namang effect kasi parang you're not wala regular? Wala kasi. Kasi I'm not regular. That's the problem. Mm. But, nag-trip. Not nag- triple. Double. Double. Hindi, hindi siya nag-double eh. Para 1.5. 1.5. Okay. Still. Ay! Wow, boy, well, double. Basta ganun siya. So sabi ko, oh my god, it, 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 it is real. It is real. I and mean, some of your coins kasi are doubled. Yes. So I think, you, again, you need to download the BitScreener app so you know how much in percentage-wise you are profited. And that's something that's about, that's very nice. And, di ba, a little bird told me, Jazz, uh-huh. what do you feel about Gcash will already have crypto daw soon. Girl, hindi diba? lang a little bird told you because I'm I'm part of the uh, G Invest community Facebook group. Uh-oh. As in, ginawa na ng investors. They just made it out of the whim. It's not really made from G- Gcash sila talaga. Uh, so I'm part of that group and they already talked about it. It's actually confirmed already. Uh, insiders say it's confirmed and I'm so freaking happy because again, um, I want people to to be I want it to be accessible because the more it becomes accessible I mean I mean it's not just um, that everybody gets to try it it's also good for <laughs> Alam mo, the it's cryptocurrency easier na now, kasi now. Yes. you remember ne, it's easier for the cryptocurrency it's super easy na yeah. now because you remember back then so hard back then when we started with yeah. kami, when I started with call yeah. pucha I, did, I have the application form I did not submit. I did not do anything because diba? it's so hard. It's hard. It's super so hard. apart from actually investing in it, like people can invest in it. What's good is that the more that people are in it, like in crypto and stuff like that, the better it is for and the healthier it is for the long run. Because more people are believing getting it, into it, it, believing oh. into it, and a lot of cryptocurrency is about that, about that belief because. Especially us living here in the Philippines, we don't see the ATMs. We don't see the Bitcoin ATMs. Ah. In other countries, kasi meron eh. And you can actually purchase things using cryptocurrency. Versus us, where we don't, there needs to be a lot more belief, a lot more trust in it before I think sooner we will be like that. See? And if you have that mindset, then you should be investing in it. Mm-hmm. That's what I believe. But if you don't have that mindset, don't, Nina. Diba? Don't. What? So, yeah, I mean... So far, super happy ako with G-Invest na um, I'm really happy with where I'm putting my money in G-Invest and the habit. Actually, more important is the habit that you're forming when you're investing. Uh-oh, For you me, ha, parang yung learning ko isn't about just my money profiting, pero yung gusto ko is yung habit of na saving, of totoo. saving so but not naman, saving but not saving to just park your cash it's saving to have your cash working for you oh, that's what naman, I mean you also don't buy bags na ibang budget naman kasi yan guys <laughs> May budget naman. Wala naman nanonood ng vlogs natin that talks about bags, to be honest. Well, we can in terms of investment. Mm-mm, we can pero, talk about it if you want eh. us to talk about it. Pero ayoko! Secret! Secret! secret. Sorry, hindi pa, hindi pa lang pwede ba ako mag-secret? Yan Kasi yung... my vlogs are based on trust. And it's an open book. Sabi ko nga, di ba, my life is an open book. That's Kailangan, right. alam nila. But Actually, guys, biglang nagkukukuk up down na yung mga topics natin. But you know, this is just like, uh, in fairness, ang bilis natin, within two hours natapos natin natin ang errands. Okay. Before lunch, we're home na. Okay. Kasi walang traffic. Pero, oh, yun. Kasi wala nga traffic. Pero, yun yun. Pero, at least that's what we're sharing with you guys. And a lot of people are talking about kasi crypto. And I think, the best person for me right now would be my sister, syempre. Kasi, at least she she uses it. She, she tries it out. And, you know, there are so many people out there who, who, di ba, marami sa TikTok, 
You guys mm. can follow them. As in, mm. kaya nga sabi ko, ang dami ko natutunan because I go to TikTok, I go mm. to YouTube, ang gagaling. And, dude, YouTube University, that's all you need. And not only that, and, and then you know what I'm super happy with now? Yung mga bata, sobra mas magaling pa kaysa uh-uh. sa mga the older people. I think because, because mas accessible yung yes. information. And it's so easy already for yes. them to try it out. And they're risk Sana takers. ako dati, Sana, may ganun din ako. Alam mo dati, pero kasi, again, ako, I believe guys, you always know, di ba? There's no use in regretting Regret. things. Yeah. If you wanna do it, just do it now. Yeah. Diba? If you wanna do something, That's you just true. do it now. Ganun kami ni Jazz. Parang, yeah. when we want something, o oh, ano, do we do it na or we don't do Try it? Try na. I mean, the worst thing you... Basta hindi ka mamatay. Even yeah. at work, I can I tell mean... my teammate. So, kung basta wala nang namatay, I'm good. Let's do it. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is that you learn a great lesson. So, yun nga lang. I feel like, I feel like, just try it out. Um, again, knowing your risk then. So, ang nakakatuwa nga, a lot of my followers also on Instagram, Gagaling nila? When I talk about, like, cryptocurrencies, when I talk about investing and stuff, they're like, Hi, I am a college student right now or a high school student right now. I don't have that much um, but, that I could But invest. they want to do it, diba, But they want to do it. Yung gusto ko. Back in high school, I you never oh. talked about investments! Oh, oh, I oh, wish! I wish! I wish then. I My really God. wish. No, parang, sometimes, Ay. sometimes when I started working, I would always think na parang, what if I didn't buy this bag? Pucha, di ba? Sa, naisip ko yan. Now, now, kasi parang, you know I have bag. But, kasi I wouldn't also say that because, Back then, I bought this bag that was super cheap, and now if I were yes. to sell it. Pero kasi my bags are times five. My bags times are six. my bags are very unique to my style. Ay, ay, this ay, is ay, parang ay. bags that so, I like. I but yours kasi will be yours are very good reseller. My reseller Quality, value. Oh. Mine's are not kasi. Kasi but, it's the fun but, type. Because that it's not about fun. It's because that's me. That's my okay. style. Diba, let's say, I think it's a separate vlog. Let us know, guys, if you like yeah. that. Because I'm a, I'm a very Phoebe Philo person. person. I love everything Phoebe Philo. So, but yeah. Phoebe Philo's recent value is really trash. It's like your trash. shit coins. Yeah. Well, it is trash. I mean, no, no, no. I wouldn't say it's shit coins. I mean, it's not shit. It is shit coins. But, but it makes me happy. Yeah. It, it. It gives me util. Economist ako. Util value ng shit coins, ng shit bags na yon, is really high for me. Asi kahit bigyan mo man ako ng isang kind of bag. Yeah, and your CPW Cosper wear is great. Yeah, kasi ako ayo ko talaga yun. Hindi talaga ako natutuwa sa style na yun. Eh, parang no. But anyway, yeah. Ay, but I have bags pa dyan mahal. Do. Parang yeah. ako. Ay, ang ako lang. Okay. Anyways. Bakit yung bags na binibili ko naman style ko naman talaga yun? I need to have. Exactly. I need to make my CPW bag. Ako kasi is Sometimes I buy a bag kasi na nakalagay lang sa cabinet kasi parang I just yeah. like looking at it. No, I like looking at it kasi. Ako din ganun. Except for my white bags. You can't have them out in the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Hindi din siya nakakabinet sa akin, guys. Nakaiwan lang talaga siya to. It should air out naman talaga yung air out ko na. Papahangin yun. Tapos I'll throw it by. Anyway, so that was <coughs> the little car, crypto, oh, oh, investment, diba? So, it's a very different kind of a jacks and jazz. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to converse with us. And if you think this is helpful for you, I always tell you guys, sharing is caring. Yeah, so, yeah. don't forget to share this vlog also. See you next time. Bye! Within the next few days, in the next few weeks, few weeks na kasi limited ka kasi gusto ko mabilis. So you really have to make make it happen. So it will be an, an, an announcement. Char announcement pala ko. Announcement. Hindi eh, eh, na-announce ko na talaga yun. Di ba? Okay. So yun, kailangan mangyari yun. Kasi if hindi, magagalit ako. Meow.